All right, we're going to have a look at this lines and points in space question. It's a question coming out of the grade 10 HSE workbook. All right, you can see that's done in first angle orthographic projection, which means that I've got a front view over there and a top view over there. The front view is placed on what they call the vertical plane and the top view is placed on what they call the horizontal plane. Their question is asking for us to find the true length of the line and also to find the true angle of inclination to the vertical plane. All right, let's just have a look at what this all means. Well, first of all, you can see that is the true length of the line. That's the answer that they're wanting you to get. If I come over here to my little line segment in my vertical plane, you'll see that the line segment in the vertical plane is much, much shorter than the actual line itself. And the same goes for the line segment in my horizontal plane. Uh, you can see that that is much, much shorter as well. Right, so what do we need to have a look at? Let's just have a look at this line segment as it is in real life. Well, there it is. You can see that if I show it to you like that, you can see that my, I'm tilting this line. You can see I'm tilting it until it's casting that shadow of the line segment just down below it. All right? And the same thing is happening with my front view over here, I'm tilting it so that you can get the shadow cast onto the vertical plane as well. So there's my vertical plane over there that my thumb is touching. There is my horizontal plane and my line segment is sitting at an angle projecting little shadows down onto the page and projecting them across onto the vertical plane. So projecting a shadow onto the horizontal plane projecting a shadow onto the vertical plane. Right, what we need to be able to do is to look at this line segment at 90 degrees, okay? Looking at this thing at 90 degrees, I will be able to see a true length of it. If you look at this, the lines coming off over here are going at 90 degrees, and in that way, I can get the true length of that line. Right, how do we go about doing this question? First of all, what I've done is I have just drawn this whole lot out as an isometric view, showing the, the true length of the line being projected across onto the vertical plane and projected down onto the horizontal plane. Right, what we've got here is our question, and they have given us those two line segments drawn as a first angle orthographic projection, and we need to figure out what the true length is and also the true angle of inclination to the vertical plane. Right. I have got an angle over here, which is an angle to the vertical plane. If you look at that, there's my, there's my vertical plane, and I've got an angle going to the vertical plane. But that's not the true angle of inclination to the vertical plane. Why? Because I don't have a true length over here. You can only get true angles of true lengths. Right. What we need to do is to be able to look at this line segment at 90 degrees and using the information from this horizontal plane, I will then be able to get the true angle of inclination to the vertical plane. Right, so how do I go about doing that? Well, there are various methods of doing it. The one that they probably want you to use is to take your set square and you line it up on that line over there and you take another set square and you get the two set squares working together so that we can do that. And you can slide that back slightly. And you can then swap that around over there. And you can draw lines coming out at 90 degrees to the line. You can see that line going off at 90 degrees. That line going off at 90 degrees over there. Um, and then you can also take your set square back over there, line that up again on that line, work very accurately here, drag that out, draw a new XY axis, okay? Make sure that things don't move around, X, Y. And then we can then transfer the points over here, going from here, find the A, go up there and smack that in there. And I can label that point that I've just made as a big A. And I can take this measurement from the x, y axis, find b, go up there, smack that in there, and you can label that as b. 
And there we go. I have got my true angle of inclination and my true length. Where's my true angle of inclination? Well, I'm just going to draw a construction line coming down here. Can you see this angle in over here? If I measure that with a protractor now, I will be able to find my true angle of inclination. Take my protractor, get that naught on, the, on that intersection over there. There it is. And I can now measure around on this protractor. Let me just zoom in as much as I can. Zoom in. And you can see that I have got, it says 10, 20, 30, 34 degrees. So I can write in over here, 34 degrees. Right. Um, they obviously want you to measure that line, and then they normally have a little space somewhere down at the bottom where you can write in what the true length is and what the true angle is. That's basically that question done.